What have we got for breakfast? Ooh Some egg and cheese sandwiches. Amazing. Oh no. Guys, can you see something? Something different? I used shampoo. <laughs> So Mark actually has like proper hair shampoo. I didn't even style my hair, but it looks styled, no? And we did as well a washing machine, so I'm smelling like a flower. Okay, so you wouldn't believe it, guys. So you know how we've been having tons and tons of issues with our front GoPro. Time and time again, we've been trying to turn it on and halfway through the day, it just stops working. It stopped already. Oh no. The front one. Well, Mark has kindly donated to us <laughs> this. Osmo action camera from DJI. Yay! Great camera. Can't let you guys go without a proper camera. No, that is absolutely amazing. Thanks so much. I mean, I, I feel the pain, you know, like I, I travel <laughs> with so many cameras and I had the spare one and I'm happy to give it to you. This is going to be a game changer for us. This is incredible. It's going to be such a good setup and I'm so excited for it. Mark, you're amazing. Yeah, you guys are amazing. I'm just going to help you document everything awesome that you do. There we go. So we're ready for a ride. It's Mark on Eve, looking awesome as usual. Are you ready to see an amazing old Georgian fortress? Of course, I love fortresses. Are you ready to get wet? So the forecast today does not look good, but mostly in the afternoon. So we're really hoping that we can get to this fortress before the rain starts. Say hi to the Osmo action. Hi. It looks good now, look at that. Amazing. Let's do it. Ready to hit the road. Good morning guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest player to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the capital of Georgia, the beautiful city of Tbilisi. And as you can see behind us, we've been staying with the amazing Mark Travels on his beautiful electric motorcycle Eve. We're about a five minute walk from the center of Tbilisi, so we are really close. In fact, I think we're going to be riding around now into the middle of the city so we can show you guys a little bit of Tbilisi. Is this the exhaust stop? No, it's, uh, it's aftermarket. Yeah. Black Widow, oh, it's right. called. It doesn't sound as good as my one, but <laughs> when I drive past children and they're like... Yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mark's our traffic leader. Yeah, and Mark is actually on a really, really exciting journey as well. He is riding with his electric bike Eve from Berlin to New Zealand. And he is still waiting for his Iran visa to be approved. Yeah, and it's awesome because it just so happened that we were both here in Georgia at the same time. And he was renting that apartment whilst waiting for the visa. And he just said, guys, I got a bed for you guys. You come and stay with me. Yes, and it's so cool, you know, to talk about the trip and also talk about the video editing. His setup is a hundred percent different to our setup you wouldn't believe it he is even editing his videos on his ipad yeah you'd think <laughs> we all kind of do it the same way but then you actually meet another moto vlogger and you realize like whoa there are many different ways to do this so much here. yeah oh, oh. <gasps> that's a good job i had the clutch in <laughs> if you would have done that with me like, yeah. I would have gone. Yeah. That's totally true. Yeah. You don't have a clutch, so it's like always go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Jesus. That was a little bit scary, man. I was like, oh my God. So, as you can see, Mark's set up here. Yeah. He's got the Insta cameras on the front. He's got one on the front. And look at that. Oh. Look at that. No cables, no wires. It looks so easy, you know. He can just get the camera on and off easily like that. It's just magnetic. Yeah. And for us, it's always a challenge because we have to like screw it on, screw it off, put the GoPro in the media mode and oh, it's like... Phew. Yeah, yeah. When we do our next journey after this one, we're going to really be rethinking our camera setup. Yeah. For sure. And maybe changing a few things. But for now, we have to stick with our GoPros. And now we have this amazing new Osmo Action on the front. And I think that's definitely going to help our setup. So we have an awesome visit lined up for today. A little bit of sightseeing with my Mark. So let me show you guys where we're headed. So we are here and today we are heading north out of the city to visit the Ananuri Fortress. 
So this is pretty much the very center of Tbilisi. This is the river that pretty much splits the city in half. Beautiful. And after our ride to the fortress complex, we are um, going to be heading up to the top of the hill and have a good view of the city as well. So it's about 40 miles to the fortress Ananuri and Google Maps says it will take us one hour and 20 minutes. It's already 10.40. So better hit the road, let's go. So this is our beep. Okay, show us yours. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> a bit embarrassing. <laughs> so we're following Mark and he just took a wrong turn and now we've done a U-turn and we're heading back into the city. <laughs> Do you just enjoy riding in traffic or what? <laughs> And there's like slick on the can you see yeah i can see it don't like it we're about halfway there now but uh, we've all had to stop to put on a bit of rain gear because it does not look very good ahead so you have rain gear from ings yes can you put them on with your boots on yeah Oh good. I started with this rain jacket. Been 40,000 miles around the world and yeah. yep, doesn't do anything anymore. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Would you say this is one of the best parts about moto traveling? Yeah, that is the absolute best part, riding in the rain. <laughs> it's nice because it gives you a chance to change outfits, yeah. you know, just, yeah. just to like switch it up a bit, you know. Yeah. We always have a good time. They've got loads of sand down. Do you think this truck just like accidentally yeah. lost all the sand? Yeah. What? Yeah, well, you think the back door just flew yeah. open? Yeah, no way. So this truck has dumped all his sand on the road <laughs> and now there's like a forklift having to try and move it. That's so random, hey? Why the other side has gone to two lanes? I have no idea because they're all impatient. <laughs> they I mean, look at what they've done. Yeah, why? Anyway, let's just try to get to this fortress before the rain really comes down. to be riding in the winding mountain roads with another awesome moto traveler so yeah it's really cool that we could do this together oh and i think we're here look at that whoa there it is anna nuri fortress magica what a setting hey wow just on top of the reservoir whoa that looks amazing Bye Bumblebee, bye Eve. Look at the writing. Wow, that looks so beautiful. They've actually inscribed Georgian writing on the sandstone, like on the walls of the church. It's incredible. Oli, do you know anything about this place here? <laughs> it's really funny you should ask. The Ananuri Fortress was built in the 13th century. 
but it's actually super interesting about how this fortress got its name. At one point it was being attacked and the whole fortress was under siege and basically all of the people from the villages they were all hiding inside and the only way that they could survive is because they had a secret tunnel that led out to the river and using that tunnel they were able to get new supplies and they were able to basically survive inside the castle for as long as they needed to. So the enemy knew that they had a tunnel but they didn't know where this tunnel was. So one day they managed to capture one of the villagers called Anna. Despite the fact that they tortured her, she said she would rather die than reveal the location of the secret tunnel to keep everyone else safe. And Anna was from Nuri, so then they called the fortress the Anna Nuri Fortress. And I think actually the secret tunnel is here. If you look down there, the stairs go off down under there. Going up the tower, it's like absolutely no railing, but all right. <laughs> Sweetheart, just don't look down, okay? I'm also afraid of heights. Oh, so that's good. <laughs> it's a pretty serious job. Be careful, my love. I am. Now it's getting serious. <laughs> Do you want to hold my hand? Cool. Here you can see how they've actually constructed the flooring where they've just like laid all of the trees along and then covered the whole thing in rocks and dirt. Okay, so they wouldn't hire you as an archer in the tower then. Mark's having trouble getting getting up the stairs because he's so tall. <laughs> That's why I came to the top for the views. <laughs> oh, there's like a little window. Oh, there we go. There's a view. This window is actually the perfect window here where you can see yeah. really nicely the... the All right. Okay, hold on. We got some traditional Georgian food. I have what's called a Mexican hot dog. Except that it's it's not it's not a it's not a hot dog at all. Uh, and then I asked him why is it Mexican hot dog, and he said to me, um, "No one knows. It has nothing to do with Mexico." And actually, he said it's basically a shawarma, but a cheaper version of a shawarma. So they actually cut up a hot dog, and then they put it in a wrap. So it's it's, it's not a hot dog, and it's not Mexican. But it will do the job. It will do the job. <laughs> Why don't they want it? What are they waiting for? It's not good, probably. Maybe they want it to be on the ground. Was that good? <laughs> We haven't been to many caves lately. We haven't been to a cave in a while. Yeah, and yeah. It's about uh, a, time. a cave is now on the agenda. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're looking for a cave. Yeah, yeah, looking yeah. For a cave. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This, this one, right? Yeah. There's a nice cave. Look, 8,937 8, reviews on Google with 4.6. That must be a good cave. This uh, motorcycle travel problems. Which cave? And when you don't have a home, you're very picky with your caves. Yeah. 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 I think, though, that monasteries we've uh, yeah we had enough monasteries we've had enough now, monasteries yeah. now let's say we check out the uh, radio tower now <laughs> that's a good idea yeah. this one lavi and oli do you want to say something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hi what's your name i am so chemri so chemri yes my sister night god 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 Good. My sister city. Bad, bad. bad. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Very nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Thank you. From China? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Cool. There we go. People are so cute. Seriously. I love travelers. Yeah. We've met so many people from so many different countries here in Georgia. Yeah. And they're just really, really friendly and happy and nice. That's awesome. Oh, Marcus vlogging. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there we go. Getting the shot. 
Every time Mark takes a good shot, I just get him to give it to me later. <laughs> yeah. He's a dedicated motor vlogger, man. He takes some great shots. Yeah, he's he does. He's been doing all of our drone shots since uh, since we were together. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have to bother about flying our drone at the moment. It's amazing. So thanks, Mark. You're a great videographer for us. <laughs> you are hired. Do you want to join us back home? Maybe there's a chance that we see him somewhere else on our next trip. I hope so, because it's been really beautiful to ride around with him, exploring a bit of Georgia and talk moto vlogging and talk YouTubing basically complaining about how hard it is <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we are now going to be heading back to the city of Tbilisi and there's a really nice viewpoint that Mark's going to take us to so that we can get a nice view of the city Battling the traffic back into Tbilisi. Oh, you know you're getting into the historical part when it becomes cobbling. <laughs> I think That's some sort massive. of government building. Oh look, and they've got something like the Ziegersäule. Yeah. And I would say this is probably St. George because I can see that he's he's defeating a dragon. And in the legend is that George, St. George defeated a dragon. Oh, okay. That's his thing, George and the dragon. Okay. Oh, that looks nice here too. Yeah, it's a really nice city center, Tbilisi. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. They say that Georgia is really a European nation and when you're here, it feels like you're in a European city. Definitely could be a French city or a Spanish city. Yeah. This is geoparking. Hello. Okay. Oh, no rollerblades. Sorry, sweetheart. Well, oh, there it is. The whole city of Tbilisi. That looks really impressive and we can see as well the bridge we walked over it the old town and maybe even the tallest monastery yeah i think that one is the holy trinity cathedral of tbilisi and that's the building that overtook the monastery that we went to a couple of days ago as the tallest religious building in georgia boo, boo. but it's pretty impressive yeah it's a massive massive monastery they're oh. everywhere, all over the over there. There's another one there. We wouldn't even have to ride so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could see like already five monasteries yeah. just in the Tbilisi area. We drove like 150 kilometers today. <laughs> <laughs> For nothing. <laughs> hey, we had a little bit of nice mountain riding yeah, in true, between yeah. a lot of traffic, that's but true. a little bit of nice mountain riding. <laughs> Levy's gone straight for the cake. <laughs> How's the cake look? Too good. Should we go and choose some? Look. Whoa! It's a massive cake. Hello. I feel like there's also pancakes. No, I would say we either get like the brownie and we share, or we get um, this thing. A chocolate eclair. Yes, and uh, we share. Or we get like the sponge cake and we share. Or 
was a Napoleon. That looks really like a beast of a cake. Yes, I can't decide. Okay, we'll get one of the brownies and one of the sponge. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Okay, so the cake got delivered and we kind of dug straight in and I totally forgot to show you guys what we got. <laughs> so it was a chocolate brownie and ice cream and a sponge cake um, and a coffee. <laughs> yeah, like, I devoured my whole donut yeah. and cake and everything I had. Five cakes, five minutes, gone. There's a gap. Oh, oh yeah. Nice one. We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> Happy and alive! <laughs> we actually did today uh, 160 kilometers. So how much percent do you still have left? So we, I started with 100% today and um, we did a trip of 159 kilometers and I still have 18% battery left and uh, 46 kilometers range. So you can do a whole day of sightseeing Yeah. all on one battery. In Georgia, a whole lot of monasteries. Yeah, you can see a whole bunch of monasteries on one charge. And you were saying, right, that you used 50% of the battery actually getting up to the monastery yeah, yeah. and then only 30% to come back into the city. Yeah. But it's been a beautiful couple of days riding around with the beautiful Mark Travels here. Oh, oh yeah, it's such a great time, guys. Oh. I'm so happy you came visit me. We'll, we'll do anything for free you. accommodation. <laughs> That's so much fun, really. Yeah, it's been really, really nice. But anyway, we have to leave Mark tomorrow, which is really, really sad, but we are already talking about that we will see him again, probably in India, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> on our next trip. I, I really hope that so. we can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. See you in the next video on, on my channel. <laughs> <laughs>